head out this holiday weekend, a reminder that skin cancer cases are up 77% since the mid-90s due mostly to sun exposure. Your best defense is high SPF broad-spectrum sunscreen. But what if sunscreen leaves you with an itchy, rashy mess? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez reports. Is there anything that says 4th of July more than beach, sun, and sunburn? It happens a lot, so does skin cancer. Five million cases last year. By now, you probably know that to prevent both of those summer woes, you have to use sunscreen early and often. But sometimes the very thing that protects can also make you miserable. I get a rash on my face. It's like little bumps that are a little bit itchy, a little bit uncomfortable. And a day or so after I stop using the natural sunscreen, it goes away. Turns out Allergists and dermatologists see sunscreen allergies like Shanna Cohen's all the time, although the patient doesn't always connect their rash with their sunscreen. It's frequent that it may occur a couple days after use, so it may be a little tricky to realize that. If you've been in the sun and you're using a sunscreen agent and you have a rash, you may suspect a sunscreen allergy. The culprit in sunscreen usually isn't the sunblock itself, but rather one or more of the other ingredients. I see patients with skin rashes and they think they're allergic to the products they're using, but more commonly it may be the fragrance or the preservative or something else in the product. Sunscreens come in two broad categories, chemical sunscreens with hard to pronounce names and mineral or physical sunscreens that contain zinc and or titanium. Both are effective if you use them as directed, but the mineral ones are less likely to cause skin rashes. Even though Shanna got a rash, she still uses sunscreen, just a different type because... I'm pretty fair skinned, so for me it's really important. I burn very easily. It can be hard to figure out what specific ingredient you're allergic to in a sunscreen. You can keep trying different brands or go to an allergist. We'll do a skin patch test so you can avoid the offending chemical. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.